Hello you all, welcome back to my channel. If you are returning to subscribe, what's good? If you are new, hey boo, I am back with another video, okay? So, happy Sunday to you all, okay? <laughs> I want to come talk to y'all tonight, okay? This is gonna be kind of like an unwanted thoughts. I was supposed to have been recording these videos for y'all a couple of days ago, but I've just been real busy, so I'm just gonna kill two birds in one stone. I'm gonna probably be recording another video after this one. But these topics just been kind of heavy on my brain actually before thanksgiving even came and i said i was going to talk about this but basically we are going to talk about how to deal with inquisitive people okay so inquisitive person is that person is always it seems like they real nosy they just asking a lot of questions and it seems as though they just kind of just a little bit too pry in your personal life okay so we're gonna talk about how to deal with them types of people a lot of times inquisitive people they are being nosy because they have some hidden motives, okay? And so I have had this actually happen a few times to where, you know how you get around a certain person and I done met a couple of people like this before and it's a difference between, you can tell whether a person is real inquisitive or they just doing it just because they just real nosy. Like some people are just, you know how you ever came across those people and it seems as though they just real pry and that's just their personality. These type of people that are real inquisitive these would be the type of people that would literally sit up and watch you. This may be a person that you see in passing a lot. And you know, always seem to be an instance where you are really just manning your business. You may not even really too much notice this person. You may say, hey, I'm back to this person. But you notice that this person is really just watching you. Because once they come up to you with these questions, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get to know you. Um, it would seem as though, like when they ask you certain questions, it would seem as though they've been kind of like studying you a little bit, watching you. And... It's, it's kind of like in the sense to where like, you, you know, if you ever come across these people and they are like, like I said, real nosy, all in your business, it gives you a very unsettling feeling when these people are coming and ask you certain questions and you just be looking at this person like, oh, what made you ask me that? Where did that come from? And these be the type of people who be asking you out of the pocket kind of questions too. Like, like take it to somebody that you work with and y'all could all be in a break room. This ain't nothing that actually happened. This is just a scenario. Y'all all in the break room talking about what you, what plans y'all got for the holidays. And this person just say something just totally out of left field to you. Asking you, oh, but where do you stay? Do you have any kids? How many kids do you have? How old are they? That's an inquisitive person, okay? If you ever been around these type of people, and this is how you are going to know that a person is just nosy for the wrong reasons, right? These be the type of people that just try to gather information on you just so they can have something to, I don't know, later in the future to t try to like throw back in your face or it's something that they, that some type of info that they want to gain from you to where they want to keep this so that they can, a lot of times inquisitive people, these are the people that gossip a lot too, okay, if you have ever noticed. They always gossiping to other people. They may say something along to the lines of, oh, you know, who she thinks she is? She came up in here looking like that. Who she thinks she is? She thinks she better than everybody or you can be a dude. Who we think he is? He think he better than somebody? She old stuck up B and all this and that gossiping, right? You can tell when a person feels some type of way about you. you. When you, like I said, when you walk into a room, if you are the type of person that has the ability to read the room, you know exactly what I'm talking about. When, when you get in the room with these inquisitive people, it is going to seem as though this person is studying you. Like this person is watching you. Like you can literally be manning your business looking down at your phone or, or you can be just preoccupied doing something else. And you feel this person staring at you. And they staring at you in a way as if they're trying to study you or something. It's weird. Or they stare at you in a way as if you can tell when people being gossiping and talking about you. When they actually sit there and stare at you. These be the type of people that when you walk in a room. And I know y'all had this happen before. When you walk in a room, that inquisitive person going to say to you, Oh, hey, Nancy. Hey, Phil. And the person that they've been running their mouth to gossiping about they're going to be on the sideline. They ain't going to speak to you. You know what I'm saying? Because they may not like you. Okay. But this person, they've been, they've been sitting there running their mouth to each other. And um, they're going to say, hey, Phil. Hey, Nancy. All fake and stuff, right? And you may say, hey, what's going on? And they just come out the out of left field with a whole bunch of questions for you. Okay. Be leery of inquisitive people. Okay. People that want to know so much information about you. 
And nine times out of ten, these people do not have good intentions for why they are asking you certain things. And when they get so inquisitive, like when I say an inquisitive person needs to be the type of person, like they can't just ask you one question and keep it moving. They got to ask you another question, then another question, and another question. And it seems as though like when they ask you these questions, it will seem as though they are doing it in a way to try to irritate you or something. Like they know that these questions that they asking you, it's not really their business. They know that it is rude to ask people certain things, especially when the person don't really know you like that. And they just hitting you back to back to back to back with questions and they always seem to do it around other people you know what i'm saying you could tell that these people been you've been a topic of conversation because this person always trying to hit you with hope like they hit you with questions like fire darts the facial expressions the body language they got it just seems as though they just have like some sneaky snaky kind of energy about they self. you know they the, the inquisitive people if you have ever noticed they always give off this energy as if they are up to no good like these be the type of people that they may give you a slack hand a look like inquisitive people they have a certain facial expression you know when that person really just like hmm, what did you do last night when you got home what time did you go to sleep did you pray before you went to bed what did you pray about what time did you wake up what time did you leave the house you know what i'm saying these be the type of people they can't put up a front at all they'll smile at you but you can see the fakeness behind they smile you can sense the fakeness behind their conversations with you you know how you had them small tax talks with people and you can just sense that they fake through their energy the only reason why they making small talk with you is to be nosy you know what i'm saying inquisitive people watch out for those kind of people okay if you have ever noticed it is going to come a situation to where this person is going to try to dig some type of dirt up on you. Like I said, inquisitive people, they hitting you with questions left and right, left and right. It's almost as if they want to hear something bad from you or they want to gather all this information from you so they can put it in their notebook or something like that so they can go and search you up to try to see if they can find, find some sort of dirt on you. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like these literally would be the type of people that like say, for instance, y'all work together. They'd be the type of person that'd be nosing and hanging around the manager office like trying to be cool with the manager because they know that the manager know all your information so they basically want to just hang around the manager office so they can just basically walk past the computer while the manager looking at your information like you may have your address right there your phone number and stuff like that and this inquisitive person walking by like you need some coffee ronald i can go get you some coffee and then they walk around behind ronald they trying to go get him a cup of coffee but the whole time they looking in the computer at all your information and i see i'll tell you people this is the one thing about being a spiritual person like you literally be reading everything up off of people and you don't be trying to you really don't be trying to read people it just be coming it just be hitting you slapping you dead in the face inquisitive people another way to spot them when they have these small talk conversations with you the number one way they're going to get themselves away is they're going to slip up and divulge something to you about you that you know you ain't never told them you know what I'm saying? You ain't never told them this. You ain't never shared this type of information. Like I said, going hanging around the manager office, nosing all up in his computer, his paperwork, and his files. Okay. They are going to say something that is going to give them away. They are going to repeat something about you that you never shared with nobody. Nobody else could have known this. Okay. That's how y'all gonna know this person been searching you up. This person probably been reading through your files, whatever type of situation to where you have crossed paths with this person. This can be in a business setting, right? And this person gonna give themselves away. Okay. Stay away from these people. Stay away from these people. Y'all know y'all have been around these people before. They cannot be trusted at all. And this is another thing. Whenever you are around them, they always seem to, like I said, when they ask you certain questions and stuff, it, it would seem as though they try to put you on the spot. If you have ever had one of these instances to like, you may be the type of person that stays to yourself. You real low key. You can't have small talk with people, but you're not really want to sit up and just chop it up for 15, 20 minutes. Okay. You say hello and you keep it moving about your way. And this inquisitive person, no, like I said, spirit is no spirit. Okay. Inquisitive people are reading your energy a lot of times too. They already been studying you. So nine times out of ten, they already know what kind of person you are. They already know that you are a private person. They already know that you are very low key and you keep to yourself for a reason. And they just want to pry into your life. You know what I'm saying? It's just almost as if they sit back and they watch you and study you like, she real quiet. He real quiet. It's something wrong with that picture. And people, this is, it seems as though they are trying to look and pick and pick and pry. They're trying to look for a problem or some type of flaws with you. Okay. 
they see that you can keep it to yourself and they just got to nose their way on into your life some type of way. You, you don't even have to know this person from a can of paint. Like I'm saying, you can be a person like you, you can be out in the street walking somewhere and you just happen to come across a friendly stranger on the street passing back. You may be on your way going to Starbucks downtown somewhere. You walk in into the coffee shop and you run across a dude. He asks you, hey, inquisitive people, the, the number one thing that they are good at, they are good at trying to engage people in a the conversation. They know how to reel you in. They know exactly what to say. You walk into the coffee shop to get your morning Starbucks and this person, first of all, this person been watching you, okay? People that you see in passing every day, if they see you every day, they don't, re they don't know you, but they know of you because they see you in passing. This person been studying you and watching you come into this coffee shop every day. Okay. They stand outside the coffee shop and they just so happen to see you coming in one day and they just stop you and be like, Hey, do you know what time it is? And you sit up looking like, first of all, the person got a phone in their hand and you just wondering like, why are you asking me what time it is when you got your phone? You can't literally look on your phone. You know what time it is, but they want to engage you in some type of conversation so that they can be nosy. Be leery of people like that. Be leery of people like that. Like I said, this could be somebody that you don't even know from a can of paint. Any little interaction you have with them is going to be exhausting, okay? You done told them what time it is. And they like, oh, you want to go get you some Starbucks? Oh, what do you usually drink? Oh, what, where are you going after this? Like, do you have to go to work or something like that? Oh, um, what you doing after work? Like, just, it just, like, what? Wait, what, what, who are you? I don't even know you. Like, why are you asking me all these questions? I don't know you. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry the video ended up cutting out like that. I had ended up getting a phone call, but I'm just going to finish it off with the audio. But basically, the way to sum up this video, how to deal with inquisitive people. Keep it short and simple with these kind of people. You may be low-key, but at the same token time, you are a people person as well. Like, you kind of like in between. So it's really just natural for you to hold conversations with people. But inquisitive people, these are not the type of people that you can hold a conversation with because they have very ill intentions to have and their connections with people certain people okay certain people that they these people may have some sort of dislike for you and they feel like if they know certain information about you they can use it against you in some sort of way okay so these are the type of people that you give them an inch and they take a mile okay you give them a little bit of uh, information they're gonna fish for more don't give them anything okay keep it short and simple keep it moving hat and bat with these kind of people okay so hopefully y'all took something from this video. Hopefully it helped you in some way. Continue to protect y'all soul and spirit. And I will talk to y'all in the next video.